Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to try the Soft 99 um, glass compound. It's not a glass cleaner, but not a glass polish. It's something in between. It's not polishing the glass. However, it's removing all kind of dirt, grease and uh, protection that was uh, or that is on the windscreen. So it's more than a cleaner, but less than a polish in between and then I'm going to use the soft 99 Glaco uh, water impregnator so we will see how is it going to work out what is going to happen now there is one tape on the windscreen already so left to the tape it's going to be unwashed it's dirty it has some sonax bsd some eco smart um, wax i mean well wax from the eco smart cleaner the rest I'm going to use the compound on, then again I will make a half and half on that one, uh, on the remaining part, and one half will have the Glaco, the other one won't, and then we'll see how it works. Both of these products were sent to me by www.polirtech.hu, free of charge, however it's not a paid advert, I got them free of charge, however... Um, I'm not being paid for it so I'm going to tell you my honest opinion and then I will include the links down uh, down below the window the video and then you can decide if you want if you're interested or not according to the instructions I supposed to use some running water to clean it off however I'm not going to do that for multiple reasons one is that my garden tap is closed off due to the winter I could bring some buckets of water and then use it but I'm just going to use a cheap window cleaner or glass cleaner I don't think it would be any anything worse than just rinsing it off with plain water so yeah that's what's going to be Okay, the next step is that I will shake the bottle well, then I will put some on the sponge, on the black part of the sponge, then I'm going to clean the whole part between my fingers, as you can see, that part I'm going to clean, um, deep clean with this Soft 99 glass compound, then when I removed it, I will put up the other masking tape. Right, you need to apply all the way until it stops coming off. When it's hazing, uh, then it's all good. So, yeah, when it's keep coming off, don't stop yet. Keep going and then wait for the haze and then we can remove it. Now, as it all hazed up and I'm ready to remove, I supposed to remove it with running water. 
I've seen others using this product um, and they were using the bare hand uh, with running water. I would highly advise not to follow those ones. Why would you use your bare hand? At least then use gloves or I don't know, but uh, definitely not bare hands. Not because it's irritating or whatever, because I, I don't know, I have gloves on it, on my hand, uh, but to be sure, to be on the safe side. Also, at the very moment, again, I'm not going to use running water to remove it. I will use the glass cleaner. I suppose it will do the trick. I will do multiple uh, turns, not just one. Okay, I consider it done up to this point. Uh, when it is going to be warmer, I will try the other method with water rinsing it off. But I would like to say that, um, yeah, in my opinion, if not all, but at least most, I managed to remove it two turns of cleaning and I used a lot of glass cleaner, weighs more than I should have. So now, uh, I put on the tape and then uh, let's see the soft 99 Glaco. I'm going to apply it on it before I'm going to shake, apply, leave it on for 10 minutes and then I buff it off. whilst waiting um, that around 10 ish minutes i just wanted to mention that uh, what was my experience with the two chemicals so the soft 99 um, glass compound it doesn't really have any strong smell or not one that i could smell so it was fine it was easy to apply uh, however the glaco has like a stronger alcohol like smell um, so if you are, let's say, um, irritated by it, then definitely use a mask and 100% use it at a well-ventilated place, so not somewhere super closed, especially when you do like all the windows, all the glasses, because now I just done a small part of it. Okay, first I'm going to use a spray bot uh, bottle. Don't worry, this is not a wheel cleaner, uh, just the bottle of the wheel cleaner. I'm going to use uh, clean water. That's what it is inside. And uh, first I'm going to spray, and then I'm going to have a look uh, with the running water. Okay, the uncleaned and untreated side, it has some runoff the water, but not much. Other than that, there are some bigger beads uh, and holding on to. Now, the one on the middle, which was deep cleaned, but not treated, it has some sheets of water. It's not coming off, 
so it's you can clearly see whatever was there it mostly it removed it and the treated part has some tiny water beads and it's uh, coming off quicker so it somehow it works however this was not of course a real life test because there is no such a rain that comes this way or at least not where I live so now let's try another way Okay, again, uh, this was closer to, let's say, like a real-life situation. Um, the one, the untreated, uncleaned part has some water runoff, but also tons of water beads are staying on and tons of water stays on. The deep cleaned part has a nice um, complete sheet of water. It's not really coming off. And the treated part, as expected, the water is running off and there are lots of water beads. Okay, well, as expected, on the uncleaned, untreated part, the water was somehow running off, but as I said before, it had some Sonax BSD Chemical Guys EcoSmart uh, on it, which has some wax and so on, whatever old, uh, let's say, cleaners and protectors. And on the middle, it is still wet, so the water didn't really move anywhere, it, it stayed on mostly and um, on the cleaned and deep cleaned and protected newly protected surface as expected the water was nicely running off um, yeah so we will see how it works in the rain but i think it works just fine as it should be All right, that was Soft 99's Glaco and Glass Compound. Uh, once again, big thank you for Joelt Frank from polyrtech.hu for providing these so I could try and I could show you guys how is it. Um, I will leave the link below. If you want, feel free to have a look. Um, other than that, that's the end of this video. And yeah, thank you for your time. Hit the like button if you liked it. Like. Um, Subscribe to the channel and uh, also press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of the upcoming videos. I would like to say thank you again for your time and catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.